For millennia, people worldwide have been enthralled by the mummy's curse, also known as the Curse of the Pharaohs. The grave of an ancient Egyptian mummy, especially one belonging to a pharaoh, is said to be under a supposed curse that is thought to be put upon anyone who dares touch it. Although the reality and integrity of such a curse may be questioned, the myth of a supernatural punishment hiding in the pharaoh's graves has persisted in mythology, literature, and popular culture. But what mysteries are being kept secret? Is it true to say that we are cursed when tombs are opened? Buckle up as we explore the pyramids to learn more about this. It is essential to dig into the fascinating history of ancient Egypt to comprehend the pharaoh's curse. This curse is rooted in the civilization's belief in the afterlife, its use of mummification, and the splendor of its pharaoh's tombs. The ancient Egyptians spent much time and energy making sure their pharaohs were interred in ornate tombs stocked with valuables to accompany them to the afterlife. The discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb by British archaeologist Howard Carter in 1922 is one of the most well-known and significant events connected to the curse of the pharaohs. This incident inspired an interest in the worldwide curse and put it in the public eye. The following deaths of several people connected to the excavation and tales of supernatural retaliation fueled the legend of the curse. Although the curse has historical roots that date back to antiquity, its renown began in the 20th century. The devastation of the pharaoh's resting places was generally said to have resulted in strange deaths and bad luck for those concerned. The passing of Lord Carnarvon, Carter's financial backer for the Tutankhamun excavation, and other people associated with the tomb stoked rumors and gave the curse's presence more faith in the eyes of the general public. The legendary curses of the pharaohs are said to be explainable by reason and science, despite the legend's stronghold on the public's imagination. There have been theories on why tomb exploration-related illnesses and fatalities occur, including the possibility of toxic mildew, hazardous bacteria, or toxic gases existing inside sealed tombs. Popular culture will never be the same because of the pharaoh's curse. Many literary and film works, as well as video games, have been influenced by it. The fascination of ancient Egypt's cursed tombs and supernatural retaliation has been effectively exploited, from Bram Stoker's The Jewel of Seven Stars to the legendary film series The Mummy. Historians and archaeologists stress the significance of evaluating these ideas critically, even if the curse of the pharaohs continues to capture the public's attention. Given the absence of historical support and the contradictions surrounding the purported curses, a more scientific analysis of the phenomenon is warranted. Additionally, it is important to carefully weigh the cultural and financial repercussions of spreading myths instead of actual historical information. Ancient Mesopotamia and other cultures are where the idea that grave sites carry curses first emerged. Across cultures, there were corresponding notions of curses or warding spells, emphasizing the sacredness of graveyards and the repercussions of disturbing them. Understanding the roots of the Pharaoh's curse may be possible by comprehending these larger cultural contexts. The media greatly enhanced the mythology surrounding the pharaoh's curse. The curse was made more well-known and charisma was developed around ancient Egypt and its artifacts due to sensationalized stories and newspaper headlines. How the curse was portrayed in the media and how people were drawn to it had a role in its continued attractiveness. The popularity of the pharaoh's curse can be partly attributed to the human fascination with the unknowable and the enigmatic. The curse appeals to our inborn apprehension of death the supernatural, and the repercussions of disobeying long-standing customs psychologically. It offers a way to investigate the limitations of mortality and human understanding. During the colonial era, problems concerning cultural appropriation and imperialism were raised by investigating and excavating ancient Egyptian tombs. Arguments over the ethical obligations of archaeology have been sparked by the removal of artifacts from their original setting and the disregard for indigenous beliefs and customs. The curse of the pharaohs as a cultural construct encourages an analysis of these power relationships. But there are several possible real-world explanations for the origins and persistence of this superstition. Even though the supernatural component of the curse is still a subject of discussion and skepticism, the ancient Egyptians strongly believed in the afterlife and valued mummifying the bodies of their kings who had passed away. Pharaoh's graves were revered and stocked with priceless artifacts to follow them to the afterlife. It's possible that disturbing these tombs and desecrating a pharaoh's final resting place would have been viewed as a transgression of these cultural and religious norms. Such exposure could have resulted in illnesses and deaths that were incorrectly attributed to a curse, 
when biological or environmental reasons brought them on. The deaths or misfortunes allegedly caused by the curse may occasionally be explained by coincidences or statistical probability. Given the sheer number of people involved in excavations and expeditions, it is not completely surprising that some people would suffer from tragic accidents or premature deaths that were not caused by any curse. It is important not to undervalue the influence of psychological factors and suggestions. The curse of the pharaoh's myth has been sustained through popular culture, media representation, and cultural legends. Psychological elements like tension, worry, or even self-fulfilling prophecies may contribute to people's experiences or perceived misfortunes when they enter a tomb believing a curse awaits them. The Pharaoh's curse has been greatly exaggerated and sensationalized by the media. Newspaper headlines and reports about unexplained deaths or mishaps connected to Egyptian tombs have added to the feeling of supernatural vengeance. Media sensationalism can shape public perception and strengthen the curse myth. The Egyptian tourism business is now entangled with the pharaonic curse. The curse is frequently emphasized in commercializing ancient Egyptian history, particularly through tours of tombs and other archaeological sites. The propagation of stereotypes and the exploitation of cultural heritage for financial gain present ethical questions in light of this. With new archaeological findings and technological developments, there has been a recent renaissance in interest in ancient Egypt. As a result, the pharaoh's curse has been re-examined from a more well-informed standpoint. Modern explanations of the curse frequently emphasize the tomb's cultural and historical value more than its supernatural components. Beyond its legendary and spectacular elements, the curse of the pharaohs offers a chance to consider how crucial it is to protect and appreciate cultural heritage. While recognizing the moral obligations of museums, academics, and visitors in preserving the past for future generations, it reminds us of the value of ethically performed archaeological study. Humanity's interest in the paranormal and the symbolic significance of ancient relics are tapped into by the curse of the pharaohs. The concept of a curse acts as a cautionary tale, forewarning against disturbing the final resting place of powerful rulers and calling for divine vengeance. The interdependence of life, death, and the spiritual world is reflected in the ancient Egyptians' belief in it. In popular culture and collective imagination, the curse of the pharaohs has a stronghold. It has been passed down from generation to generation, preserved in folklore, and woven into the fabric of the narrative. The attraction and enigma of the curse are strengthened by this shared myth, which also continues to affect our understanding of ancient Egypt. The study of ancient Egyptian tombs and mummies has benefited greatly from developments in science, technology, and archaeology. Through thorough investigation and inquiry, many of the purported curses connected to certain graves have been disproved. What do you think about these truths or findings? Leave your answers in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already.